A new non-flammable battery offers 10 times higher energy density than today's batteries. This new battery is quite unique. In fact, I've never seen anything like it. And it does make me think that, who knows, maybe in 10 years, batteries like this will, well, completely transform electric cars. I mean, imagine you had a battery with 10 times higher energy density in your EV. You could get potentially thousands of miles of range. It could mean a future where everyone looks at gas, gasoline, petrol, diesel, and thinks, wow, remember when we used to do that? Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. There are lots of new batteries and new technology coming to the market. And of course, I'm bringing a lot of that information to the channel. Now, guys, if you can support the channel, that would be amazing. I'll put a link to our Patreon page and also as a YouTube member, it definitely helps me to actually do the work and make more videos and get more content out there, especially to those people who haven't yet. Well, they're, they're, obviously, there's a lot of people who don't yet understand that electric cars and renewable energy are a legitimate option to fossil fuels. A lot of people just don't have that knowledge. They watch Sky News. They watch um, lots of different weird news channels that tell them that that's not the case. Innovations in batteries are advancing the development of electronic devices and batteries keep on getting better. A brand new Alsim battery supports a wide range of discharge durations and has a revolutionary chemistry, which is completely different to anything else I've ever seen before. Their metal oxide battery chemistry leverages a mechanism analogous to the one found in lithium ion batteries with the working ion shuttle shuffling between the anode and cathode. Although functionally similar to lithium ion cells, Alsim's batteries utilize non-flammable, non-toxic materials and a water-based electrolyte, making them cheaper to manufacture and, well, apparently dendrite-free, which is the big thing here. Dendrites are one of the leading causes of battery degradation and battery batteries essentially not working anymore. If your battery is dendrite-free forever, well, you might have solved the biggest problem with lithium batteries. This design makes Alsim cells inherently dendrite free, says the company, preventing thermal runaway and its potentially disastrous consequences. Interesting Engineering says that Alsim co-founder and MIT professor Creeper Varanasi claim, you need storage and to really solve the decarbonization problem, we need to be able to make these batteries anywhere at low cost. So not only do they have dendrite free capability, they also have incredibly high energy density and apparently are a low cost. Now, all this does sound a little bit too good to be true, but here's more details. The company believes its batteries, which are being tested by potential customers around the world right now, hold an almost potential to decarbonize the high emissions industrial manufacturing sector. They see applications ranging from mining to powering data centers, homes, home batteries, and utilities. So, Alsim maintains it uses sustainable non-toxic materials, reducing environmental impact and supply chain risks, and they offer flexible ranges. So they've got a bunch of different um, size batteries. There's lots of different options. You can put them in an electric car. You can use them for battery storage. Now, apparently, high, they have high performance in terms of round trip efficiency, power output, and charging speed. Finally, their levelized cost of storage is comparable to or lower than lithium ion batteries in terms of stationary storage, according to the company, meaning potentially around 80 US dollars per kilowatt hour, meaning, yeah, extremely cheap. Alsim says its batteries are a safe and non-toxic alternative to lithium cells, and they're also virtually fireproof. Now, I don't know if that's true or not, but here's what they said. Compared to other non-lithium batteries, Alsim Green has two to 10 times higher energy density, making it a more space efficient and powerful solution for containerized DC blocks. So clearly they're going after energy storage, in particularly grid scale energy storage. Further, they have best in-class round trip efficiency of 92%, fast charging of C4, meaning approximately you could estimate around 350 kilowatt charging, low self discharge, 0.25% per day and configurable discharge durations from two to 110 hours. They have a performance profile that no other non-lithium battery can match. So what does that exactly mean? Well, 
a lot of this is a little confusing because actually these batteries, whilst amazing, don't actually have the energy density of advanced lithium ion batteries. They have much better energy density, they claim, than alternative similar batteries for energy storage. Here's what they said. They are first among alternative chemistries at the system level. They stated that 24 containers of Alstom's batteries can provide 1.7 megawatt hours of electricity. That's actually fairly similar to Tesla's megawatt batteries. Alstom co-founder and CEO Mukesh Chatter stated the company is enabling the decarbonization of markets, which was not possible before. And he highlighted that no chemical or steel plant would dare put a lithium battery close to their premises because of their flammability. And he's saying that this is an alternative because these batteries can be basically be placed right in a factory next to it, doesn't matter, they're not flammable. We're highly configurable and that's important because depending on where you are, you can sometimes run on two cycles a day with solar and in combination with wind, you could truly get 24 seven electricity. The need to do multi-day or long duration storage is a small part of the market, but we support that too. So these batteries really are just more of an alternative to lithium at a similar price, but they are essentially fireproof and potentially last much longer. Now you've probably heard of lithium metal batteries before that might ring a bell. These are basically a, a version of a lithium metal battery. With a lithium metal battery, lithiated metal oxides are used as the cathode material of the battery. However, these batteries actually don't use any lithium at all. They use only some form of metal and oxide. Now the company won't disclose what electrolyte they're using. They believe that's a proprietary business secret, but they say it's water-based and completely non-flammable. In theory, if these batteries were mass produced, you would th think therefore they should be much cheaper to manufacture than lithium ion, even lithium ion phosphate batteries. But at this point in time, they are the company is in relatively early stages. Let's hope they succeed. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Thank you.